Do you believe the new temple could be built on the Temple Mount with the, with the mosque still there? Yes, absolutely. Mm. Oh, 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 absolutely. oh, 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 wow. <laughs> and, and I believe the scripture tells us that. Oh, In Revelation chapter 11, verse 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. John was given a read and said, measure the temple and those that worship therein, but do not measure the outer court because it shall be trodden down the Gentiles for the next 42 months, the last 42 months. Which, and I went to interview Asher Kaufman, who was a Hebrew professor. I went to his home. I interviewed him because he wrote an article in Biblical Archaeological Review saying that the proper place for the temple to be built is where the Dome of the Spirits is. I don't know whether you remember or not, that little cupola about 12 feet in diameter yes. north of the Dome of the Rock. He said, that's the Holy of Holies. That's the reason it's called the Dome of the Spirits. He said, that's where the temple should be built. We can build our temple here. And he said, that would leave the Dome of the Rock in the outer court. He said, that's okay, because the outer court was called the court of the Gentiles anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said that to me, and I said, oh, wow. my goodness. Don't measure the outer court. It shall be trodden down the Gentiles. Right. Right there in Revelation chapter wow. 11, verse 1 and 2. There I it is. Absolutely. I'm reading it right there out are, of the there Word. Are, there are people that I've talked to, experts in Israel, that believe that they can put this, the next, the temple up in months or days. I mean, that they even have prefab pieces. They have the the utensils already built. Is that right? Yeah. I spoke to Rabbi Heim Richman, who's the executive director of the Temple Institute. I said, Rabbi, how long would it take you if the, if the government called you today and said, go build the temple? How long? He said, we can do it with modern technology in less than one year. Wow. Well, the Bible teaches that once this peace agreement is signed, we're back to my chart again. Mm -hmm. But once this peace agreement is signed, the temple will be finished during that first three and a half years. How do we know? Because the Bible says at the three and a half year mark, the Antichrist is going to stand in the temple, claim to be Messiah and God. You can't stand in the temple if there's no temple to stand in. <laughs> and furthermore, the Bible says they're going to start animal sacrifices when they get the temple done, and he's going to stop the sacrifices right before the final, right before the halfway mark. Because that's the abomination of desolation when he causes the sacrifice and oblation to stop, and he claims to be Messiah and God. Uh, here's the way I envision this. It's all written. Everything's it's written. all written. Yes. Yeah. It's hidden in People, the Bible. You don't have to yes. be ignorant. He said he doesn't want you ignorant. He, he doesn't want you to have that day, the rapture, the end times, to catch you unaware. He doesn't want that. Yeah, you're quoting right now 1 Thessalonians chapter number 5 when Paul said, Brethren, you know perfectly that the day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night. Then he said, But... but that day need not take you unawares because you're not children of the night. That's right. why you Christians are, are supposed to know. Amen. You've listened to scriptures that have been twisted and made them a lie. He, he's not coming. If you're unsaved, you're unbeliever, then it's going to catch you unaware. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Jim, I'm about that. to shout. Do you allow shouting? Yes. Yes. 